Hey everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be planning for the week of March 27th through April the 2nd. Um, per usual, I'm using my little pre-planning insert from Confective Paper Co. I'm still using the week timed weekly from Cloth and Paper. And up to the left of me, my inserts, you'll see some cards. Um, some are from Puff and Pages. I was watching, I think, Kristen Plans or something, and she was using them, so I downloaded them. They've been a big help with my planning. And then after reading the 12th week year, I was inspired by those cards from Puffin Pages to create my own that would be things that would resonate with me. I also have this as a free download in my shop. I'll try to remember to leave the information below. So if you are interested, you can download these um, cards. And they're roughly about 2.2 by 2.2. So they're small enough to just fit on your weekly. So as usual, I put down my AM routine first, and then I go into my work routine or my work schedule. Then I go to any bills due, meetings, and doctor's appointments. So those are like the top things that I put down first, if nothing else. And then if I have room or things that, you know, I typically do, which is like cleaning and stuff like that, um, I'll save that for last. So I'm putting down my meetings, um, the WAM, that is a WAM. That is called Weekly Achievement Meeting, and I learned that through the 12-week year. So I'll be having one of those with myself. Um, also on one of my cards, which is a commit card, um, and commit is my word for the year, so it's commit to three things. And my three things I'm going to commit to is calling my mom three times a week. So I have her on my schedule to call. <laughs> I know I have her on my schedule to call. I have my bills. I have my admin work. Um, I typically do admin work an hour or so before in the morning before I have to be to work and maybe an hour in the evening. It just depends. Sometimes they go over in the evening. But that's why I love these timed schedule inserts by cloth and paper because I can kind of time block. Here I'm putting in to make a deposit into my high yield savings account. This is how I digitally save. Um, and the reason that it is on this particular day, the day will change. But because this day I know I have a high ticket customer and I know that I can take a certain percentage from that ticket and apply it to my high yield savings account. So now I'm going in and finishing up my work schedule. What is due? Um, just kind of go by the day. And I know I do admin on Thursday, admin on Friday, excuse me, admin on Friday, admin on, I don't do admin much on Saturday because my Saturdays are so busy. And then here I'm putting my bills, CMP is due, community is due, Amazon due is on the first. So, and then also I like to put in to schedule those bills. So you see, I just put schedule the bills because I need to schedule the bills on that day so that they'll come out on the day they're due or to just go ahead and schedule for that day. Here I'm using the card from Puffin Pages and I've created a checklist of the things that I like to make sure that's in my planner and anything that I forgot, I like to add it onto uh, my insert. I need to check shipping from vendors because it's been a while and I wonder where is my stuff. <laughs> and most of this stuff is for the uh, budget box. So I got a to buy list and it will grow as the week goes. I wanted to use a sticker there, but I just really needed to put down what I needed to buy while it was on my mind. So here I'm just using an oops sticker sheet. Um, and these I created just like kind of for myself, but um, they were supposed to be an ice milk, but they came out the wrong color. So I'm just using those just to bring my eye to certain things that are due, emails, admin work, to call, to buy, and to do type of things. So that's what that sticker sheet says. It's really tiny and I love tiny things in sticker form. I don't know why, but I love it because they fit perfectly on the sheet. I mean, it's just perfect. Um, the color's off, but it's just perfect. So I was just trying to use up that sheet. So now that I've gotten everything in that I need to pay, to do, to buy, to call, to email, meetings, all that great stuff, um, I'm going to go on to um, these icons right here. And I love these highlighted icons. They were supposed to come to the shop, and I just haven't done it. If y'all want to see some highlighted icons in the shop, let me know. And these icons just kind of bring a 
a reminder to me of what needs to be done. So that was grocery. This is my reminder to start my book, but I've already started the book. So my book for April, I was going to start on Thursday, but I decided to start it on Sunday. And so, yeah, I'm just looking at the sheet. Like I said, it helps me to remember what I need to do. Now I'm putting out this computer because I need to design on Tuesday. I want to, I mean, I focus on the budget box, but I mean, that's just my baby at the moment. So I want to get to the point where um, I got more new releases. So I'm taking these tab stickers from my shop along with these finance script that I made for myself and just using the tabs as a background and adding the finance script over top. These are the days that I typically do finances, which I'm going to do finances today, but it'll probably post tomorrow. And then um, again, finances again on Saturday. I add up my weekly totals on Saturday and check my accounts and all that stuff. So um, I typically touch my finances every day, but film wise, I do it on those two days. So now I'm just taking these um, stickers from my shop and I'm just highlighting my work days just to bring my attention to it because I really thought I was off Wednesday and I wasn't. So I'm just using these to bring my eye to it. And then I'm just using this one to highlight my um, wham meeting on Tuesday. And then these were in our recent budget box and they're just like some cash sacks. And that's just to indicate my um, paydays. Sometimes it's Monday, sometimes it's Tuesday. Just depends. And I'll just add them to both days to know that to expect some money. And then these are, again, the highlighted um, icons. So, and I just want to add a little bit of deco sometimes. So that's why I say I'm just more minimal, uh, more functional. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm just going to put my inserts back in. And this sheet right here, I love it. It's like my pretty much weekly brain dump and then as I was putting back my weekly I saw my task cards and I was like wow I totally forgot to add my task cards so I'll be adding my task cards y'all and that's pretty much it um for my weekly plan it's very simple I can't have a lot going on because if I do I will get sidetracked so minimal and functional planning works best for me as I said, I'm just going to add my task um, cards right on over to my planner, and I'm done. So, putting back my little 12-week year cards, and that's it, you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.